And it is a coffee pot and Seer back again, bringing you more Half-Life 2 co-op on Synergy. So, uh, yeah. I figured I would introduce myself with a loud sniff this time, so. Do what? <laughs> I just figured I'd introduce myself with a loud sniff this time. That's why the beginning of the video started with a loud sniff. Oh, that's good. That just sounds like a kinky party over there. I feel like going and getting a, um, some Mountain Dew, but I don't feel like getting up right now. So, between the next episodes, I'm going to be grabbing a soda. Well, um, with all the money we make off of the uh, automatic Mountain Dew delivery system is our next goal. <laughs> on Magma Dew, just have like a button you hit, flings the Mountain Dew straight from the Mountain Dew processing plant. <laughs> In fact, I don't even think that's necessary. What I'll need is a giant straw that runs all the way from my, you know, from my computer desk to the, uh, the processing plant, and I just sit there and ingest Mountain Dew that way. That sounded pornographic. It really did, actually. Um... I was into it though. Yeah, I'm totally down with it. I mean, then again, I don't think you understand. I'm down with just about anything. <laughs> yeah, I can. Oh my gosh, dude, dude, the thing. Okay, I need to not use this pistol because this pistol is, you know, licking butt cheeks, and not the good kind. There's a good kind. <laughs> no, the, you're just like, there's a bad kind. <laughs> I, I fell like down this. These, these guys are the most useless people at like hiding from something dangerous. Cause like there was just flaming barrels next to them, and they both just like crouched a little. You know what I just realized, and I feel really stupid for not having realized it before, but we were trying to get that achievement for breaking the uh, the teleporter. I just realized we're not technically playing on Half-Life 2, so it wasn't counted no. at all. For those of you watching, that was in episode two. That was like the first half of episode two. Um, also, for anybody uh, I would just like to point out that I feel like I was fully aware of that situation at the time. Um, however, I put so much effort into doing things that make sense in my life that, well, you know. Oh, look, it's a G-Man. He shows up in the weirdest freaking places. He really does. Sorry, I had to turn down the volume because it was very hard to hear you. What did you say just a minute ago after I, you know? Yeah. What was that last thing you said? For the viewers at home? Oh, just, just uh, you know, something about spending a lot of time doing things that make no sense and are completely pointless. Um, such as the previously mentioned incident with breaking the teleporter for the achievement. Um, Even though we're on a really synergy mod, or we're on the mod, part. not the actual game. We all we Sorry, both actually legitimately own Half Life Two, by the way. Just putting that out there, like we actually paid for it, and yeah, we did not pirate it. I am gonna find all the step ladders in the fire trucks that are part of the family of this damn ladder, ladder, and I'm going <laughs> to murder all of them. I just fell off that ladder like 15 times. There we there's go. No, there's no sense behind that. It's stupid. I'm taking a fire barrel with us. Please don't. <laughs> I don't trust you with it. I don't I'm taking it. I don't oh, trust you in the shit, slightest with that device. Okay, well, uh, I found well, another lambda. On my way back. I'm sure that sounds really exciting to you. Oh, sweet, dude! Okay. I found another stash. Do you need health? Um. Because there's two health kits over here. Oh, well, let me let me bring my fire barrel. And don't bring the. I, I said don't bring the fire barrel. I'm gonna kill this head thing. I'm, this, uh, fire barrel. I'm gonna kill this ceiling mucus. All right, I apparently can't bring the fire barrel. It's not working. Damn it. Okay, so uh, right over here. Just hit me. I don't know. But right over there. Jump over that car. There's uh, some right down there. There's uh, two health packs. Sweet. So yeah, if anybody's curious, the Synergy mod works with just about any Source game that is usually a single um, player only. I will share that I am a little disappointed right now that um, it apparently does not support Black Mesa. Um, but seeing how that's a mod itself, uh, it really... True. If um, I bought Half-Life Source... Dude, wait, if we both bought the Half-Life Source edition, we could do a playthrough of that too. Very true. 
Um, it is kind of indicative, though, just based on that it's there, that it is going to be um, supported at some point in the future. So yeah, this mod's really still in development, right? As soon as it, yeah, as soon as it's supported, uh, we will definitely do a playthrough of um, of that. Yeah, it'll probably be after the uh, Black Mesa actually gets finished too, which would be fantastical. Because I have yeah. actually never Which beaten Half-Life One, so that that would be a fun venture for us. Yeah. Busting my Half-Life One cherry. I, I just got cornered by a fire barrel. I did too. No, I mean completely cornered by like four. So <laughs> this is going to be my uh, freaking what you call it? My introduction to hatred of barrels. Like you know, right. PewDiePie, dis you know, PewDiePie with his barrel hating. Yeah, that's that's nothing compared to what I'm what I'm gonna be experiencing. <laughs> this is just this is not good. Why do you think I didn't want him to bring the barrel with me? Or with him. I mean I just I completely disagree with everything barrels stand for. Alright. Barrels are against my religion. You're, you're doing a bit too much with the flashlight right now. Oh, I just remembered the flashlight was on. <laughs> I still like how that only counted as one kill for you. Yeah, I forgot we could check was... kills. Um, well, you are definitely going, uh, you definitely have more kills than me. But, uh, okay. yeah. Oh, gosh. Why did that explode? I have no idea. But, I uh... Picked... Oh, my God, my arm was rolling on the ground. Cool. What, are you... Did you just die? Uh, yeah, I picked up a fire barrel, and it, um just exploded when I picked it up. Okay, so I'm gonna kill all these, uh, head penises. Or these giant, uh, the mucuses, barnacles. Barnacles, that's what they're called. Actually, no, I'm not, because I don't want to waste all my ammo, but, uh... Oh, and he picked it Okay, we don't even need, uh... So you're probably still at 100 health now, because you just respawned, right? Um, I'm at 60 and 25. Okay. Come on, let's go over here. Uh, there's some health hits up here, too, if you wanna... Alright, note to self, you can one-hit a barnacle with a stun stick. You can one-hit a barnacle with your penis, too. Well, yeah. I frequently do that just because, gosh damn. Gosh damn, that just, that just tells you how epic it is. I mean, come on. Either that's a testament to a really epic penis, or a really pathetic creature. Yeah. Ow. Oh god. The thing fell, and uh, killed me. There's a ladder to your right. Oh, yep. I knew that. I've you played this hit before. hit my torso. Did I hit your and torso? my torso violently rolled through the water. I thought you were oh okay now now it's confusing me as to when you're alive and when you're dead. <laughs> I don't know, but I just got hit by another barrel and I'm down to two health again. God damn! I don't damn. understand. Health kit right there. Dead against me suddenly. Damn it! And I fell. Well, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Three episodes later, they're still trying to get out of this canal. <laughs> I'm approaching the anger level of which babies could be punched. All right, now I don't think that the uh, the viewer, I don't think that one viewer that's been watching appreciates that. <laughs> well, as long as he doesn't have children. Dude, I just realized this could also have been a live stream. <laughs> yeah, that could have been a thing. Oh well, because then we'd have to sit there and advertise it. Minecraft like offers Twitch live stream now. Yeah. Okay, well, what I'm gonna I do, I'm gonna find myself strangely excited by that. You know, you know what else um, is strangely exciting? Never mind, I'm not gonna actually say it. It was going to be yet another penis joke. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you can never go wrong with a good penis joke. Well, you know, unless you're in a workplace and you have people who are really serious about the whole sexual harassment thing. But if you have, you know, if you have a lesbian manager, it's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, actually, <clears throat> I lied. you can always go wrong. With <laughs> exactly. There are just so many. Just avoid them. Given they they and, and provided we just said that, feel free to quote us on that. But there will still be penis jokes. 
in oh, yeah. rather gratuitous quantities. Like, I don't think you understand like, the, how gratuitous quantities can be until you see how many p dick jokes will be in this in this series here. Just to point out the quality of the country that we live in, um, I work in a call center um, very close to like a thousand other people who speak to other people. And, um, good lord, just the worst things you could imagine are said on a daily basis. The worst thing? Like, like what? Just things I don't feel comfortable repeating in any situation, really. Fair enough. Yeah, I just realized I have to, I have to refrain from saying certain words because, you know, because of the color of my skin, there's certain words I cannot say while we are recording. Yeah, that's... Well, you can always just claim later that you're black. Yes, Nobody but then... Know. Well, I mean, I am actually a coffee pot. So now I'm a coffee pot with skin. Um, <laughs> if yeah. anybody watches this and has, you know, artistic ability, it... We would love if you would actually draw me a coffee pot made out of flesh. That would just be... That would be the bee's knees be right penis. there. Yeah. That would be the bee's knees. You know, that would be the best thing since sliced penises. Uh, I feel like that's not a good thing in any in any fashion. Well, no, it, it's alright in small quantities. So in Asian quantities, it's acceptable. You see, I can I can pull out a dick joke in uh, in any conversation. You know, and and, and I don't think that that's what gets me my the work I you know I don't think that's what gets jobs, but it it helps me. <laughs> I just picked up one thousand twenty three grenades. What? That's what it said. It said I it said I picked up one thousand sixty three or whatever the fuck I just said grenades. Um, I'm just gonna start beating cra let's just go through this like whole chapter only using this only using these stun sticks I think that sounds like a good idea for anybody watching Get yes these it. videos are probably gonna be very uh, the, the video sizes of each episode are gonna be very different because we aren't even paying attention to what's going on right now yeah, we are literally having to play control. through all of this know. in one sitting because we couldn't get a dedicated server set up, so I couldn't just, like, start off where we le leave off. So, uh, yeah. That's a thing. We are literally sitting here at, two, you know, 3 o'clock in the morning, playing... Is it 3 o'clock? No, it's only it 2. We're two fine. We are fine, dude. We are fine on time. I don't even go to work for another 14 hours, so we can easily finish this game. This game isn't 14 hours long, is it? <laughs> Not quite that. How long do you think it'll take? Um, well... The last time I played it, I was cheating heavily. And I played through it in about... Eight hours, maybe? Okay, so... Well, it seems like it's about a six to eight hour game. Yeah. God, that... That gas tank chopper, I'm not a fan of it. But yeah, I can I can easily survive work on eight or on two hours of sleep. Oh yeah, you work in food service, you'll be alright. I work in food service and freaking retail, so yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the uh, one of the employees at my GameStop out here um, is constantly high at work, so I think you'll be fine. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, and the fact is, I don't work that job tomorrow either, so it, it's going to be the food service one, oh. but, you know. Oh, okay. Well, that's... It, it's, and see, the thing is, like, for some reason, no matter how little sleep I get, I'm able to uh, fully function for at least one shift. But, uh, let's go ahead and end this episode here. Alright, so that's and it next for episode... episode... We'll have a showdown with the barrel. Okay, it, and just... Just imagine a very angry coffee pot staring at a barrel, because obviously this is first person, but yeah, I don't like you. Okay. Peace. Uh, what episode was that? Was that episode uh, four? four? Okay. Or three. Well, we three. Will... No, no, three was the last one, so yeah. 
That's it for episode four. Peace off. We will see you guys next episode. It's 